okay so all of you I'm, i assume or presume that you know you have done this basic linking of revenue now for the costs you know always try to correlate what we had done earlier with respect to uh, asian paints now all the costs or the r and d expense sales and marketing expense general and administrative expenses uh, you remember we have done something called vertical analysis now what is a vertical analysis vertical analysis was something like every number in the income statement is divided by sales now uh, why don't you all scroll down why don't you all scroll down i am on the income statement sheet i'm scrolling down from line number 37 and what i am pointing out to is you know calculating or doing the vertical analysis okay so once you have done the vertical analysis you can actually understand how the costs are flowing look at this the ones which have been highlighted in yellow cost of revenues were 40 40 40% in 2006 7 and 8 it has been 37 and 36% so probably cost of revenues are decreasing a bit so what we will take uh, in terms of assumption is if we are having 100 rupees of revenue in 2011 maybe we will take 36% of that as cost of revenue likewise r and d expenses it has been more or less stagnated at 12 13% so if we assume this to be 13% we may not be very down likewise sales and marketing expenses where you know traffic acquisition cost was also included you know this is somewhere around 10% because of the competitiveness of you know other uh, search engines you know this is where you know they need to spend more now general administrative expenses 7 8% so if we have to take a conservative estimate maybe take 8% so what uh, are we doing is we are taking these set of assumptions as constant ideally you know these assumptions are not constant this all these assumptions here which we are you know documenting as of now may change by 1% 2% depending on how do you foresight uh, the uh, the whole environment in terms of competitiveness maybe uh, maybe if you look at uh, the selling general and administrative expenses or sales and marketing expenses you know sales and marketing expenses can go a bit higher from here on maybe 11% you know 12% 13% 14% 15% maybe strategically because uh, you know the management may have spoken on something like sales and marketing expenses will increase to 15% in the next 5 years because we would like to uh, you know do a lot of uh, um, a lot of, lot of advertisements not only here in um, google but also on television and you know other radio media so maybe this may be a strategic possibility but as of now those strategic possibilities we we still have not uh, you know learned as of now in much of that detail so what we are doing is we are just keeping things simple and uh, we are not doing um, much of the assumption changes now because uh, that's where we feel uh, that the basic model should be ready with us so if we have this why don't you go ahead and calculate or say i would say back calculate your costs now what are the cost essentially you know let me um, do this let me go ahead and calculate the costs cost would be 36% of my revenue will be my cost of revenue okay 36% of my revenue is my cost of revenues so i can make this as constant how can i make this as constant i mean look at the usage of of uh, dollar signs what do i want i want this this row to be stable however it should change from h to i i to j j to k k to l so i am placing nothing in front of h i am using this word called h dollar 8 i mean please appreciate i mean uh, those who are unable to understand the usage of dollar you know, don't worry i mean uh, just try to play around with this usage and you will get the hang of things because this is what we discussed earlier in excel also uh, how to make the best usage of uh, various referencing functions called you know dollar signs double dollar signs so what i have done is i've just used a single formula here and i am i able to you know copy and paste it across now
because of the uh, um, you know smart usage of dollars and likewise when i copy this block i can paste it across here because now h has now converted to i and but it has not changed so i mean uh, those who couldn't follow they can do it in a more basic case our idea is to come up with the cost of revenues and other details okay okay so now we are done with the cost of revenues i will allow um, why don't you complete this to just total expenses total expenses are essentially the total of all the expenses their income from operations if i have to use this analyst jargon this is basically ebit because uh, you know depreciation and amortization has already been considered here in cost of revenues so depreciation and amortization has already gone in cost of revenues so um, we need to calculate ebit it's just a sim simple sum total of a formula so it should not be very difficult for anyone to actually calculate these things like impairment of equity or interest and other incomes there are none actually so uh, interest and other income we may come to it later but as of now you know why don't you calculate the remaining part of it and uh, calculate the provision for taxes how do we calculate the provision for taxes uh, remember uh, when we were doing asian paints first and foremost the first step was do the vertical analysis and for the taxes understand what are the effective tax rates so uh, we were talking about this place you know line number 53 and this is known as effective tax rates so uh, use that effective tax rates let's say you know this effective tax rates here is uh, 21% so we can go ahead and choose 21% as the effective tax rates going forward and um, with this effective tax rate of 21% we can uh, go ahead and calculate the provision for income taxes okay this is 21% of the ebt so net income will be essentially 9597 okay so why don't you go ahead i mean we will uh, we will allow uh, another please complete the income statement based on the assumptions provided okay we will wait for you know 2 3 minutes what are the assumptions the assumptions are labeled here these are the set of assumptions which you have to use okay so we will allow another 2 3 minutes and everyone please go ahead and complete the income statement i'm sure you now have looked at the revenue built up sheet you have the revenue built up sheet for the set of revenue numbers this is basically sheet 1 in your excel sheets and we are working on google case study without solutions so go ahead and complete this and once you're done you know we will again kick off our sessions okay friends i am running a quick poll on whether you have completed this uh, income statement or not please answer this with yes or no if you have done that please answer this with yes otherwise say no okay so we are still waiting for uh, the uh, attendees to answer this poll i mean you can take your time and we'll wait for another 2 3 minutes more to um, to complete the income statement the income statement is not very tough in case of google okay i'll close this poll and uh, share with you uh, the results 50% of the attendees have completed the uh, the uh, exercise on projections however 50% Uh, were unable to do so as of now so what i'll do is you know i will quickly go through uh, the overall uh, steps again uh, one common question i guess you know with everyone was you know how do you calculate the effective tax rates now effective tax rates you know remember effective tax rates what are these tax rates effective tax rates are basically how much is the tax that you pay on income before income taxes right so this is basically coming out to be around 23.3% in 2006 this is provision for income tax divided by ebt or the income before income taxes okay so this is where you know it is showing probably a decreasing trend towards 21% so this is what um, okay so i am sorry i mean uh, the polls were visible i was talking about the effective tax rates here and uh, i'm here on line number 21 till 23 okay and uh, basically provisions for income tax is basically how much tax you are paying on your ebt 
So effective tax rates can be calculated as 934 divided by 4011. So this comes out to be 23.3%. Likewise, when you uh, drag this along, you'll find that you know these are the effective tax rates over a period of time from 2006 to 2010. Most recently, the tax rate was around 21.1%. Okay, so this is what you know the effective tax rates are all about. So uh, this is the same thing that we have done uh, in the vertical analysis. Okay, these are the effective tax rates, and on this basis, what we have done is we are saying that we'll assume twenty-one percent as the income tax rates, effective tax rates. Okay, so once we have these with us, effective tax rates or so the provision for income taxes will not be very difficult for us to calculate. It is just EBT or income before taxes multiplied by or effective tax rates okay so this comes out to be 2551 and hence you know you can copy and paste this formula to calculate your provision for income taxes okay so this is this is how you know uh, things are done with respect to the income statement other um, assumptions were very very simple as we have discussed in Asian paints you know these are similar kind of assumptions uh, these assumptions were cost of revenues historically we saw you know it is around 40 to 36 percent so we have taken that as 36 percent henceforth likewise R&D expenses you know 12 13 percent sales and marketing expense 10 percent then general and administrative expenses are the 8 percent so these are the assumptions that we have taken 8 percent of sales 36 percent of sales so you know we have done this process many a times and it's just the multiplication of sales your respective percentages to calculate this the remaining total cost is basically the formula for total cost you just need to copy this formula copy this formula and drag it across okay so I would now assume that you all could actually complete the income statement and you all have the income statement with you now uh, another quick